Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to show you uh, these two items. Actually, uh, they're not one item, uh, but they're two. So I don't know if you've heard of this uh, Chinese manufacturer. It's called Yulanzi. And uh, well, of course, I'm not being paid or anything to um, talk about these, but I just thought that you know some of the some of the products that they put out and are really quite affordable. And um, if you're you know interested in getting them, um, there are the links in the description below. So um, I only have one box. Uh, I threw away the box for the tripod, uh, but um, the brand name is is right here, as you can see. It's a uh, Lanza or Lanza. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. And uh, this is the VL49 light. So as you can see over here, this is uh, this is the light, and um, you can take it out. So what it can do is that, oops, <clears throat> this LED light is really nifty and it's really cool looking, um, and it's really bright as well. So there are several buttons. Um, you have these. Um, <clears throat> maximum and minimum brightness buttons and you also have the mode button so for different um, filters I mean different kinds of color shading you can push the mode button and also there's the on off button so like here so this is when it's on and then it can get super duper bright I mean seriously bright and if you just look at my face right here this is without the light and this is me without the light I hope it can focus I hope my camera can focus uh, but then this is it. This is the light shining on me at maximum brightness, and you can see there is a huge difference. So if you want to, you know, take photos or videos of yourself um, with this light on, this is a huge, uh, huge difference that uh, having a dedicated, uh, you know, camera light will will um, have. Previously, I used to, I used to have a circle ring light, but that died. Oh, let me just. Uh, <clears throat> Let me show it to you. I'll be right back. So, this light right here is what I had before. Um, all you got to do is put it in, but you can see that it's very clunky and it takes a lot of space. So, even if you fold it down, this contraption takes a whole lot more space than this. And for me, the light brightness is comparable. So, I don't really see a need to buy something like this. And after about a year, um, the uh, buttons broke and the connection at the back is micro USB it also broke so there's no way I can power this on anymore and uh, this was so therefore this was the replacement and it's a pretty good replacement this is it at maximum brightness um, shining on my face but as I'm as I go down wait I'm pushing the wrong button uh, this is the difference yeah, so you can um, actually uh, toggle this um, VL49 light to sort of make it, uh, you know, adjust according to the way you want it. Yep. Right? And it's really useful because in a, when, you, when you attach it to the Ulanza, uh, what is that, um, MT44, I believe this is called the MT44 tripod, uh, it will, you will probably have a pretty much a killer features all you got to do is this tripod over here has it has a actually it's a multi-purpose tripod so what you're gonna what you're, what you're gonna have is um, this section right here and if you remove the rubber housing you're gonna find that there is a screw here for cameras to sit on so I'm using my a6400 to film this so I can't show you show you the camera on this tripod but it's so easy you can just screw it on and then you can just like, you know, turn this dial to have the camera sit on there. But what is really useful is that you don't have to buy another attachment to put your camera, um, your phone on it, your phone camera on it. So this is how it will look if you uh, if you take this tripod and uh, it falls down like this. If you just want to use it, um, you know, as a regular tripod, um, and it's really really helpful. Uh, but if you want to use your phone on it, you can certainly do so. You can just take it out, open it, and you can put it. Oops, let me just. This thing comes off quite easily. I mean the r rubber part. But you can take it right on, and you can just like attach your phone camera like so, and it will sit. And you can attach a light over here, like so. Let me just turn this off. Turn this light off. You can see that it just goes right on there, and it is super duper 
convenient. And this light can go obviously on your own camera as well. So anytime you have, uh, yeah, any 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 camera, you know, any hot shoe, uh, so, sorry, any cold shoe. This is a cold shoe, obviously. You just put it on here. At the, oh, at the bottom there's also like a um, three-quarter screw mount. So you can, if you have another tiny tripod, you can also put this on that tripod, and that can work independently as well. So it's a very useful um, little gadget to have. And you put it in, and you screw it in. And voila, you have a, automatically a vlogging or streaming device. You know, you just turn it on, turn the device on, oops. Yeah. And then you will be able to um, record yourself, right, like so. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of weird, there's two, two of me over there. But yeah, basically, um, this is it. I'm just going to turn on the light, turn the light on now, so it's... Like kind of obvious what difference it makes. Uh, and anyway, my camera is focused more on my tripod than on me right now, but that's fine. But anyway, the tripod looks like this. Um, when you close it, it is not the most compact because it has to be sturdy. You can also use it as a monopod or a selfie stick. And you can attach all of these, all of these things to it. Um, so, yeah, but um, at its uh, smallest, let me just uh, take it out, take off the light here. You are going to find that the tripod, let me just put it on here, works really well for your everyday life. So, yeah, actually, for me, before I got this one, I was deciding whether to buy something like this or the Sony like mini tripod that I'm, that I'm having now. They have the VP BT. MT something I'm not sure but Google um, just look up the, the the Bluetooth Sony like mini handheld tripod and um, that one retails for about a hundred USD a hundred bucks um, this is only going for like twenty bucks so uh, you can see kind of what kind of value what kind of value this thing is here and uh, you have a ball right here so you, you can actually like attach your smartphone to it and you you can do it like um, in portrait mode as well. You can bring it bring it back up, and you can turn it, and it'll be in um, you know landscape. That's fine. And um, yeah, it's MT44. So the legs are very very st sturdy. It this is it's it's this long. It's about the it's about um, I don't know um, twenty inches, I guess, or about uh, no, it's about eight inches or twenty centimeters, um, and uh, the interesting thing about this this tripod is that the MT44 is that it is so space saving. So, for example, this red ring here, you can actually tighten or loosen it depending on how much table space or how much space you have or want to have. Obviously, the more you let me just loosen it first so you can see. The more space you have, say if you were putting this on the ground, you can extend it fully for optimum stability like that so when it's on the ground you have you know plenty of space or on the floor outside you put it down um, it is super duper stable and you can just tighten the red ring here to lock it in place like so however if you're at home you want to use you want to use this thing um, uh, and you have very limited space so you can obviously loosen the red ring and you can push this push these legs all the way up so the space that, that this tripod takes is actually very minimal, especially if you're only if you're only looking to have a smartphone mounted on it. Uh, you know, you don't really need the legs to splay out that much. It takes a lot of space. And as for the length, mm, okay, it goes up to about uh, how much is this? It's about like a meter or so. There's five sections. So, like more about a meter plus, I guess. A couple of. Yeah. So, that is, uh, yeah, that, that, that's how you do it. And so, it can totally be a tripod, a monopod, a selfie stick, or and it can be used for your smartphone and uh, camera as well. So, for me, this is a real winner. I wish I found it uh, sooner and replaced my old uh, you know, thing. This old thing with it that was just very clunky and bulky. Um, with, this, with this new lens is set up.
Yeah. So th so that's it for uh, um, our review of this. I've actually got I've had it for about um, two to three weeks now, but you know due to year end activities, I've been really busy um, um, with my own personal stuff. So anyway, uh, I think it's a really great value, and uh, I, somehow the products that this company makes are kind of interesting. So you know, just uh, Google them, check them out if if you're if you're keen. And I'll see you in the oh. If this video helped you, please uh, please give it a like and, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. So, um, yeah, uh, let me know your questions and comments, and um, I'm going to see you in the next video.